Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is input settings, the get action or access names. Let's go and run our quick example. We'll see the word fire in the top left corner. And well, it's not very spectacular, but that's what this node does. Let's go ahead and look at the node itself. We're going to be talking about two different nodes, the get action names and the get access names. One thing to note, these nodes were added in 4.17, so they will only be available in 4.17 and later. The purpose of these nodes is to get all of our input settings for either the action or the access. If we go into our edit and then project settings, we wait for them to open up. We go down to our engine input. These are our action and access mappings. Now I'm using the default third person template. So these are what I came with by default. You'll notice we have four of them here in action and a couple in access with different names. And each of them may have one or two different buttons we can press to activate them. If we were to run our example, again, you'll notice it says fire. And if we look in here under our input, we have fire as our action mapping. The node will return an array of the names for your actions or axis. By default, I'm just grabbing the first one and printing it out so we can see it. But if we go ahead and break point and we'll run again, we'll go ahead and look in here and we'll look at the output array. You notice it shows all of our action names. We see fire, jump, reset VR, and options menu. Those are the four that match, again, our four action mappings. And hopefully you can guess if I was to go ahead and stop this, we'll go ahead and plug in our axis names this time and run it again. We'll go ahead and check it out and we should have, there we go, our axis names. We can see seven different axis. And if we look in here, we can see all of our axis. And that's it. Those are what the names, the nodes do. It will go in, grab our action or axis names and output a array of names that we can use later. Now by itself, we're not going to get much use out of this, but there are other nodes that go with it, such as the git, um, let's see, let's go into here. We have things like the git mapping by name. We have the add action and remove action. These allow us to take existing actions or access and modify them. If you want more information about that, please check out the videos for those individual nodes. But for now, this is the basics of the git action names and git access names nodes. You hook them up with the git input settings. It will check your action names and access names, which are set in your project itself, and then output an array of those names for later use. 